Hey everybody, Simon here, Projects in the Barn. You can just catch me walking down to the barn from my house. Just gonna have a little quick chat about the um, XKR and what my sort of plans are for it. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, you may or may not have seen, I put a poll, which I didn't know that I could do. So on my YouTube channel, as I open up the doors. Ugh. So yeah, on my actual um, YouTube channel page, there's a community tab there. And on the community tab, you can post updates, pictures, and polls, as it turns out, which I didn't realise that I could do. Anyway, I found it the other day, so I thought it would be a bit of fun to uh, put a little poll out there to see where I go with the Jaguar XKR. And I did as a little experiment, and lo and behold, some, <laughs> some people have actually voted on there, which is brilliant. Um, I wasn't expecting any sort of response from it because I was just sort of testing a few things out but people have taken the time to add and comment on the poll so I thought why not make just a short video about it and actually throw it out there to see if more of you would like to add to the poll and comment on it now what's the poll all about for those that haven't seen it um, I go on I put a little caption on there basically I'm on a bit of a crossroads with the Jaguar XKR to the point where, if you've been following the series, the last few videos we've done is stripping all the brake disc calipers and taking off the, the brake lines from the front and the rear of the car. Um, all of the brake calipers, backing plates, etc., are all off with a friend of mine at work who shot blasted them all for me. I'm hoping today is uh, Tuesday. I'm hoping to pick them up at the end of this week on Friday. They should all be done for me. Um, so I'll have them back so I can paint them up and look to get them refitted. Now, those that will cast their mind back who are following this series will remember me talking about getting the car on the road for this summer and then taking it off the road again next winter to do a bit more of an in-depth restoration on the car as opposed to a refurbishment that we're doing at the moment. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm sort of leaning towards, let's just get stuck into this car and let's just go for... A restoration and I'll tell you what it was I was watching um, some of my friends on YouTube um, you know John from to the garage who's done his, his brake and his suspension overhaul um, and another chap called John from Car Crush um, he's got a lovely Jaguar XKR convertible he's having repainted and a lot of bodywork done at the moment and I was re-watching his videos where he's taken off the um, the front subframe of the car and we've done loads with bushes and stuff like that and then you've got Damien from <laughs> Owen DR module again he's going to town and doing a like a, a five speed sort of um, manual gearbox conversion in there again all really interesting watches you know so that's to the garage car crush UK and Owen DR module go and check them out I'm sure you already subscribed to them but I'm just thinking they're all there working away on their car and it kind of doesn't make sense just for me to do the minimum, throw the car together just to get it on the road. So I'm thinking now, well, I've got this far, all the brakes stripped off, which isn't loads, but while I've got this far, let's just go for it. Let's get the subframes off, front and rear. Let's do the bushes. Let's get them cleaned up, get them powder coated, get them fitted back up. But once all the subframes are off, I've got some uh, corrosion issues to deal with in the front floor pans of the car, which I've yet to show anybody. Um, and just the underneath of them, what I don't want to do is to do all this work, stick it in for its MOT, and the MOT tester comes back with a pass because uh, the mechanical side of it should all be done, but there's signs of corrosion underneath the car. It's just a killer for the MOT history of the car, and I really, really don't want that. And even though there's nothing I, that I can see from here anyway, there's nothing that's horrendously rotten it just looks awful it looks like it's being kept under water uh, as you'd have seen from swap my hands a minute as you'd have seen from the state of the brake calipers and the back and disc well that's what it's like all underneath so we'll show you underneath the car in a minute um, what it actually looks like but i just don't want that to appear on the history so once i've got it at this stage i thought let's throw it out to you guys i think i know what i'm going to do anyway but it's a bit of fun just to see how you would go with it but shall I take off 
the rest of all the suspension, the subframes, which if I'm right, I think the subframes themselves are actually aluminium. Um, but a lot of the components that are attached to it, a lot of suspension, sway bars, anti-roll bars, what I'm going to call them, all the drop links, uh, is all standard steel and it just looks rough. So let's get them dropped down, shall we? Get them cleaned up, painted or powder coated and really do something special. And like I say, when they're off the car, it gives me an opportunity to completely clean the whole underside of the car um, and repaint all the underneath of the car, either with the Raptor liner or another product, but probably the Raptor liner. Plus, when I was talking this through with my Mrs. Joe the other day, uh, and I sort of explained to her, I'm going to have to take off the exhaust from the over um, suspension part, the rear axle over rear axle part of the exhaust to sort of get to it to take it all down. Uh, she just mentioned on there, well, I'll just get a new exhaust. So that's like a golden ticket, green light for me to upgrade to a nice stainless uh, stage one, stage two exhaust on the car. Or maybe something fabricated, I don't know. Um, we can have a look. So shall I start waffling, show you what we're talking about underneath the car? Um, because, if we can put the light on. Ching! Underneath, we'll start with the rear here. And ooh, just to show what I'm talking about. So subframe mounting plate there. You can see where I just sort of wiped it off. It's not rotten, but it's covered in horrible surface corrosion. Same for oh, looking here, the drive shafts. Um, you can see the top of the parts of the subframe. It just looks rubbish. And I don't want that to have an impact on the car. So I just, I just thought to myself that if I take it all down, yes, it's a lot more work. Yes, it means I'll probably won't get it on the road for this summer. Who knows though? We'll go to the front again. But it just means we're doing a proper job. Um, Again, the subframe itself, this is the aluminium part there, could do have been blasted off. But everything that's connected to it, like the lower wishbone, let's say anti roll bar, uh, I've bought new drop links already, so that doesn't matter, but could just all do with a bit of love. So that's what I thought about doing, is to do those parts. So yeah, I just thought I'd put it out to a little poll just to see what you think and to see if you agree with me or not. Um, as I say, underneath the car, it's not horrendous, <coughs> excuse me, but it just doesn't look the best. Now, if I get down on the floor, I'll show you underneath the car and show you what I mean. So bear with me while I just get something to lay on. Right, let's put a bit of wood on the floor. And let's go down under the car and see what we can see. So you'll notice, if it focuses, the actual floor, floor pans, aren't too bad. Got bits of corrosion around the mount there. But again, nothing horrendous. Hopefully it's focusing. There we go. So a bit of corrosion there. Again, nothing horrendous around that. The floor pans themselves are actually in good order. The exhaust center boxes again, look like they've been underwater. Same all the way along there. Again, the floors, the sills are all good, apart from where you get to the front floor pan. There we go. And trust me, coming from the world of air-cooled Volkswagens, this is nothing. <laughs> so it's just, for those that don't know, this part here is the front carrier plate 
Uh, I don't know if that's the actual term for it, but basically this is a front carrier plate that was put on at the factory to be part of the conveyor system to move the car along the factory. So this particular plate itself is not structural, but because it's just sort of welded in a couple of places, there's plenty of room for water, moisture, dirt and muck to get up in there and ruin it. And every time pretty much you'll see on one of these cars, especially on an MOT report, um, if there's corrosion in the floor pan, this is where it will be. So again, it's not horrendous. It's quite a straightforward repair. Um, you've got like the original drain plugs here. But um, unfortunately, it's just rust from the underside. It doesn't go from the outside, sorry, from the inside out. Um, so yeah, a flaw in their design. So the other side is not quite as bad as that, but basically this part of the floor I need to replace. So I'm kind of thinking that I need to get the car up in the air a bit more anyway. I've got some bigger axle stands. So why don't I take down the suspension and just go for it. Get all the floor pans done, get it all repainted underneath and I think we'll be good to go. Uh, that's my personal opinion on it. Um, I think that will work really well. But again, you can see, or hopefully you can see, all the way along the outer seals, although dirty, uh, are in good order. So this is the kind of finish, this textured finish you got on the original seal. That's very, very similar, but a bit softer than... Uh, to the Raptor liner I'm going to do the inner wheel arches in so if I just come back up again ooh, with my old bones so those that remember I wanted to um, or I will be Raptor liner in all inside the wheel arches which is a polyurethane based product um, so that's just a bit of primer I throw on there after I put the uh, rust treatment on so if I can do all the underneath of the car and inside the wheel arches, it'll give me more room and give me one even finish all the way around the car. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, hence I did the pole. So what I thought I'd do is I'll leave the pole on there. I was just turn my light off. I'll leave the pole on there. Um, for a few more days as so I don't get the brakes back until the end of this week I say today is Tuesday I'll get the brakes back probably Friday and yeah see if I get a few more of you voting send me your thoughts and comments please um, I think it'd be worthwhile doing um, for definite um, I know the original plan I'd say was to just get it on the road and then I can do you know check out the engine gearbox and all that but pff, I can still do all that but after I've done, I'm committed to the car now. You know, it's not like I'm going to finish halfway through the car and think, sod it, it's costing me too much money. <laughs> I'm committed to the car. I'm committed to getting the car finished regardless. Even if the engine's completely toast, I'll get a new engine or I'll rebuild that engine or I'll get it rebuilt or whatever. So I'm committed to getting the car finished. So why don't we just do it right first time? So let's just go for it, in my opinion. Get it all down. Get it all sorted. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I would really be interested to see. And again, for those that don't know, if you go onto my actual YouTube homepage, uh, where you see the home videos, playlists, etc., the, the title bar at the top, there's one there for, called Community. If you click on that, I think that's where, it is certainly on mine when I check it, that's where you'll see the poll. I think that's where it will be. So go to my homepage, go on the Community tab, look at the poll, cast your vote, yes or no. Uh, I think I put on there... Um, tart it up for now and do it next winter or just get it done now something like that so just yeah tell me your thoughts and that's it so not a productive video just me chatting talking through my plans for the car let me know and if you all come back to me the majority and say yeah just get it done now when I'm down at the workshop next which will be in a few days time when I get those brake components back we'll either build the brakes back up and get it back on the road or we'll start on the subframe as I say, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Nice and short for me. Um, good to chat to you all. 
thanks so far to all those that have voted and commented on it. Um, I do really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting anything because I was just doing a test. But hey, let's leave it up there. Tell me your thoughts and your comments. Um, and I'll see you all on the next one. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out you know, John, John and Damien on the other channels I said at the start of the video. Uh, there's some mega work going on on all of their video channels. And I'll see you all next time around on Puddicks in the Barn. Take care, everybody, from me and the Jag. We'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.